Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel again. Have you been exploring different animated visuals in Power BI and then you are like, which of the animated visuals do you use or which of them can actually kind of make sense, right? So in this video, I've collated my own top three favorite animated visuals, which is the one I actually like a lot. So you can actually explore that and see how they work as well. So the first one I'm going to go into now is the post chart. So post chart kind of make a lot of sense. You can see the way it's showing right now. So it's showing me uh, the movement between period of time. And this is like a line chart, right? Which make a lot of sense. You can actually pause the play. You can play it. You can do some settings as well in the formatting pane. So when you select it, you can do some settings in the formatting pane to kind of uh, select some playback. How do you want it to play? Did you want it to pause? What is the speed? I kind of put the speed of this one is one so that it's not actually running too fast. You can also do a lot of uh, settings from the x-axis point of view. Did you want the x-axis to be in the middle? I did this one to the middle and this one's to the bottom, right? So you can actually do a lot of things. The dot as well. What color do you want the dot to be? And I, I put this one as red and also this one as blue, right? So how did you get that? So the first thing you do is you go to your uh, get more visuals. So you go to visualization in Power BI, then you click on get more visuals. When you go to get more visuals right here, you may need to sign in to be able to access uh, this place. There are so many visuals that you can actually explore here. So the one that I'm using right now is the pause chart. So if you type pause here, you will see this chart. It's called pause chart. It's verified. So when you click on it, then you just um, add this into your report and then you start using it, right? You start using it. It's very, very uh, useful. I find it a lot, a lot of time useful. So if I click on it here and I actually put some things inside, you will see that it has a timestamp, it has a value, and it also has um, a period or running counter. So basically here, what I did is I put three things here, which is... Um, which is date, crime, and year, month. So I can do the same thing here and say, okay, I want to put uh, date in here, and then I want to put uh, crime in here, and then I, so I think I did crime uh, rolling 12 months. So crime rolling 12 months, and then I want to put year, month in the running counter. So I want to run it by year, month. Okay, so basically, when you look at this, this is what it's going to give you. Then you can now start editing this and making this look nice. Like for me, for the Y axis, I put the Y axis off. Then I go to the dots. I kind of, kind of increase the, the, I kind of change the color of the dots to maybe something like red. Then if you want to push this down, you can push this down and do something. Now, my top two, which is the second one, is scroller. I kind of like scroller a lot too because Scroller kind of makes sense. I'm sure if you've watched this CNN or BBC, you've seen something scrolling below, like giving you information about the news scrolling below. That is the same vibe that Scroller is giving you. So it's kind of scrolling below and it's giving the users more information about your report. So Scroller, basically, you can add a lot of things. So if I select any of this one that I have here, so you will see that I basically have uh, my type, which is what is scrolling inside there, the crime type the crime rate, and I do a measure deviation, which is the comparison of um, crime rate, which is month to month. So this is showing me the percentage month to month, which is the uh, actual value and the percentage month to month, which is 2.0. So you can get scholar as well from your uh, get more visuals. When you click to get more visuals, then you go to your search and you search for scholar. So scholar is here and then you can click on it and get the visual and start playing with it. So I can see I've already played with mine. I just have one that doesn't have any background. This has a blue and this one has green background. The third favorite one that I love is the animated bars, right? Animated bars kind of makes sense. I created a report during the COVID-19 uh, and I use this animated bars and it kind of makes a lot of sense to see how each of the years are actually growing based on the number of COVID they have. It's the same thing I have here. This is showing the crime rate by Burus and then the, it's playing by year, month. So, and you can see how each of this is moving. So you can set the time to kind of be very slower or to be very faster based on you. So there are so many settings you can do here. So if I go here and I come here and I select visualization settings, so you can see that the duration I set is like three, five. The more you in increase the duration, the slower it become and the highest duration you can have is 10,000. So if you give, give it like 6,000 or 5,000, I'm sure it will be very, very slow, right? Now, how do you do that as well? You go to your get more visuals again. Under your get more visuals, you also go to your search 
um, you go to your search button and you search for animated bars. Let me search for that. Animated bars, which is this one, animated bar chart. This is the one I'm currently using right now. So this is my top three animated visuals in Power BI. Which of them is your own favorite? Or do you have any other favorite that is different from these three? Put it in the comments. Let's interact. Put it there. Thank you.